can you just walk one foot in front of the other as if you're walking on a tightrope? Excellent. And then just walk normally to the door and turn around again. I'm going to start with visual fields. Okay. Just look straight at me and point to the hand that moves. That's great. And just cover one eye for me. Just keep looking at me. And just say yes when you see my hand moving. Yeah. 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 Great. With the other eye. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's great. And let's look at your pupils. So just look straight ahead for me. Direct reflex is okay. Indirect reflex is okay. Direct reflex is okay. Indirect reflex is okay. Just going to have a look at your optic disc. You just look at this target here. Okay. Just look straight ahead. Right. Optic disc is fine with venous pulsation. Just look straight ahead for me. Optic disc is fine. That's fine. And then just look straight ahead for me. And then just follow my finger with your eyes and tell me if you see double. And just look up. Look down, look across, look up, look down, that's super, okay. Now just close your eyes tight, real tight, don't let me open them, super. Just give me a big smile, excellent. And then just open your mouth for me, just look at your tongue, look at your tongue, no fasciculation. Give me a big cough, <coughs> okay, and then just push from the side. And push on the side. Excellent. Pop on the couch so we're going to have a look at your limbs. Excellent. Okay. And then you can just pop your arms up like that for me and just close your eyes. Okay. And then just open your eyes and then just can you go like that on your thighs. That's great. Okay. Can you go like that for us? And the other way around. That's fine. Just touch my finger with your finger and then touch your nose. Touch my finger, touch your nose. On the other side, touch your finger, touch your nose, touch my finger, nose, that's great. Okay, so look at your arms. Okay, and then just pop your arms up like that for us. Push up hard, <coughs> push up hard. Just pop your arms like that for me. Just push me away, <coughs> put me towards you. Push me away, <coughs> put me towards you. Just grab my hand real tight, tight as you can. Relax. Grab my hand real tight, tight as you can. Just relax. Just let your arms go loose. And the triceps, again, just all floppy. That's super. And it's just going to have a look at your legs as well. Okay. Just assess the tone. Lift your leg up for me. Right up. Push up hard. Okay. Lift your leg up for me. Push up hard. Okay. Just bend your leg for me. Bring your heel to your bottom. And kick me away. That's fine. Just bend your leg. Go that way. Kick me away. That's fine. Just bend your leg out. That's for cloners. On the other side. That's fine. Just push up your toes, <coughs> push down, <coughs> push up your toes, push down. Just let your legs go all floppy. And just flop your legs out. It's like a rectangle, that's the bottom of the rectangle, that's the top of the rectangle. That's the top of the rectangle, that's the bottom of the rectangle. That's fine. Just going to scratch your foot. It's a little bit uncomfortable. It's not painful. That's fine. And then just, do you feel me touching? Yes. That feel normal? Yeah. That feel normal? Yeah. Excellent.
So that took about three or four minutes at a fairly relaxed pace and yet covered all the essential elements required to ensure that there's no occult pathology, following the most important aspect of neurological assessment, as we've said, the neurological history. Neurologists do this examination day in and day out, quickly, safely and efficiently. So do consider incorporating this routine into your own practice and you can visit the following links to some useful resources.